everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, you know, as you see in front of us in the news, this is a third woman accusing the grandson of the founder of the Muslims Brotherhood of rape. And she said he raped her at least 15 times. Now, I don't really like to talk about those things, but it looks like this guy is a very, very, very uh, Salafi Muslim, which means he is very Orthodox Muslim. He is following the steps of his prophet. And all those women, they said that he raped them during Islamic conferences. I mean, it's, isn't it nice to send your sister or your wife to attend an Islamic conference? And this conference is run by the Muslims Brotherhood. And then your wife or your sister, she came back home and she was raped by one of the leaders of this conference, which is very trustworthy. And look like this guy, he asked them to go to show them something, a book or something in his room. And when those women, stupid women, they get in, they, uh, you know, he violate them. And, you know, put into your attention that he is the grandson of the Muslims Brotherhood. And those women, they are facing a lot of a threat. We are talking about death threat if they uh, sue him if they take him to court and look how filthy those muslims brotherhood to the point they are taking the side of the rapist against their own women those are not like a christian women or jewish women or hindu those are muslim women i have no comment i will leave the rest for you thank you and i will see you with my first coming live broadcast in this coming uh, 16, the uh, March 16, uh, we will be live on air at 4 p.m. at New York time. So be with us and join us. And if you are a Muslim, from those who keep saying they want to debate me, please, I cannot wait to have you live. And I will not consider it as a debate because none of you fit to debate me, but we will consider it as a chat, chit chat, you know, with a bunch of kids. Let us see how many Muslims will call. And let us see what they can do. God bless and see you soon.